In this presentation, we are going to look at clustering analysis. Now, just a couple of key, mar uh, key remarks that we are going to use version 21. For best uh, use, uh, I advise uh, full screen on YouTube. Uh, the data set we're going to use is called smallcluster.sav and it's available at my website keobryandublin.wordpress.com and generally the procedure we're going to use is analyze classify hierarchical clustering now but the point of this video here is in particular wards linkage now i just made a previous video there uh, 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 to, to, to discuss the proximity matrix but uh, i want what i'm going to sort of focus on in, in this case is the the purpose of wards linkage and what uh, why the proximity matrix and the agglomeration schedule would be a little bit different. So let's uh, bring up SPSS. Just give me a second. There we go. So uh, this is the data set we're going to use. It is called small cluster and it's just the heights and weights of dogs. So analyze, classify, hierarchical. Okay, now this is everything. I've done something very uh, similar to this. But essentially what I'm going to look at here is methods. Now the default method here, is, the one that comes up automatically if you don't touch anything, is between groups linkage. But what I'm going to do is go down to wards linkage. Now, uh, if you, you uh, read up on this um, about the gen uh, all the various types of linkage, some of them are uh, very simple to comprehend. Uh, for example, the nearest neighbor and furthest neighbor are ex extremely straightforward, as in to dis determine a uh, 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 de very determined uh, to, to determine how to build up clusters, but the wards method is uh, quite a complex algorithm and it is quite difficult to explain, even to come up with a, a, a visualization. But essentially, it is to, to reduce the sort of variance in clusters. So it's a highly effective way of coming up with compact clusters, but it's not uh, too easy to explain. But what we do here, let's go and click OK. So this is our uh, clustering analysis procedure. I'm just going to uh, bring this, tidy this, tighten this up a bit. There we go. So first off, we have the proximity matrix. Now I'm just going to go and just talk about the first um, few cases. So for example, the one of the uh, um, two closest cases here is Charlie, no, uh, case 6 and case 8, they have a squared Euclidean distance of 0 0.438, just over here. That's actually the second highest, uh, second lowest. Uh, there is another one knocking around 16 and 17 actually. Yeah, right down here, 16 and 17, that uh, case 16 and 17 have a squared Euclidean distance of 0 0.225. Okay, what does that mean? So essentially what we, we're going to expect to happen is that let me, 16 and 17 uh, are the first two to get joined and just let's make a little mental note of that, not 0.225 and likewise back here, not 0.438 that those two uh, uh, values are the squared Euclidean distance between the two closest pairs, okay? So let's go down here to the agglomeration schedule. Now so this is the agglomeration schedule, and as suspected, the first two uh, pairs to get joined in the clustering analysis procedure were 16 and 17, and 9 and 10. But look at the coefficients here. Those are not the numbers we've seen previously, uh, not 0.225 and not 0.438. The coefficients there are the uh, Ward's linkage coefficients, and they are calculated in respect of the cluster and not the individual cases. Now, uh, the calculation there would include variance uh, as well. So essentially, these are different metrics to the ones in the proximity matrix. Now, if you, there's a sort of there's an equation you would need that I'm not going to present here to do with how to com compute Ward's linkage coefficients. But anyway, essentially, it's where these numbers come from. They are the similarity. Uh, the, by the way, the proximity matrix just up here, you can read it at the bottom there, is a dissimilarity matrix. These are dissimilarity measures, essentially, it's a sort of a very blunt way of putting it, between clusters and not cases. And it, so the most two, the two most similar, uh, when we start out, we have clusters of 16, uh, uh, individual small clusters of unit size. Uh, uh, what happens as we go along is that 
we would have lar uh, the clusters start to emerge. So we ha down here, 9 and 11 get joined, but 9 was already joined to 10. So this is, um, 11 not being joined to anything. So this is a sort of di a, a distance measure, a dissimilarity measure, for want of a better word, between 11 on one hand and 9 on 10 on the other. So it's not actually related. It's not just related to nine and eleven, or eleven and nine. This is a dissimilar. Uh, this is a um, a metric based on eleven, nine, and ten. So it's actually Ward's um, uh, linkage method is uh, what is uh, this? This is where these coefficients come from, and they are why they are different from what is in the proximity metrics. Okay, so that's the end of that.